Today we're going to do, uh, do a little demonstration uh, using the new repel belay device called the ATS. The proprietary element to it is how we've bent it. There's a deflection in it. So I want to show you some quick applications for friction settings on a rope. Today we're using an 8 millimeter rope to repel with. So I'm going to connect the device to my carabiner. And you'll notice that as the gate is pointed towards my face that the device is curved down. And I'm going to bring the rope in the back. Connect it into the carabiner and lock it. When I choke up, what I'd like you to see is because the device is curved down, you'll see the deflection in what will be called the load line. And that gives me extra friction, which is nice. And then with the hyper horns being on both sides, if I need more friction during my repel, I simply wrap the hyper horns. Pretty straightforward. So an opposite example of that would be flipping the device, flipping it around, so now it's pointed up, so let's imagine this is a thicker rope, I load it in, and now you'll see the lack of deflection in the load line. So this works great for a thicker rope, for a single line repel, or hey, let's say I'm out doing a double line repel, I would like a little less friction. In the event that I choose this setting, and I depart over the edge and I find out, hey, I don't have the friction that I need. I still have the hyper horns to get back what I'm missing. Okay? So for this particular 8 millimeter rope, I'm going to go ahead and flip it around. Back into a higher friction setting. And I'm ready to go. I'm also going to notice that I extended the repel device with my chain reactor. That allows me space underneath the device for an auto block. <coughs> There's the rig. <laughs> 